I'm about to demonstrate how to sharpen Nordic skates or speed skates. The ideal way is using a jig, but I'm also going to show you what you can do if you don't own it. It has to be precise in order to get a good edge. These come off when you actually are sharpening, but they're guides to get the skates in exactly the same position off the jig. We make sure that the blade height is the same for both blades, but we want both blades in exactly the same position fore and aft on the jig. I place my finger here when I put each blade in, and I bump the blade up to my finger. Now both blades are in exactly the same position on the jig as each other, and their rockers are identical. They're lined up perfectly. I'm going to wet the stone on the coarse side and start my grinding. You want to go the entire length of the blade and add a, we want to go forward and back but also diagonally. This keeps the stone from wearing out in one spot and it also grinds it better, cuts a little better. Real important to keep the stone absolutely perpendicular to the blades because if you're at an angle like this, you're going to be at the low part of one blade and the high part of the other blade because of that rocker. So what you'll get is this. And you're going to be rounding your edges. It's going to be wet the coarse side of the stone again. Go in the other direction. And you want to you want to do equal amounts. You know, you can count 10 strokes one way and then go 10 strokes the other way. 15 strokes one way, 15 the other way. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you do it evenly. The key point I want to make is that you don't push down on the stone. You're only human and you can't push equal pressure all the time. Let the weight of the stone determine the amount of pressure on the blade. That doesn't change. Just guide it back and forth. On the fine side of the stone, we're going to polish the blade. It's just a, just a back and forth motion. The entire length, and again, not pressing on the stone and keeping the stone perpendicular. Now, it should be just back and forth on the blades. If you don't want to wear your stone out, you can gradually move from one side of your stone very slowly to the other end of your stone. The last part of this is removing the fur that has happened from all of the grinding. We take a small, fine-grained stone and we place it along the side of the blade and we run it up and down the entire length. And you'll notice I'm wearing cut-resistant gloves for this. My hand is going right along what should be a very sharp edge right now. I do both sides. Okay, I'm doing both sides of this blade. And now, and now that edge is pretty sharp. You can hear it it's biting into my fingernail and it's leaving quite a bit of shavings. Now being on YouTube the quality of the video does go down a lot but you should be able to see fingernail shavings on that blade. Even if the quality of the video is terrible you can hear it. Here's an idea that Bob Dill came up with when his blades were too long to fit on a jig. He just got two two by fours and placed the flat surface of the Nordic skate onto the two by fours. Again, you have to try to line them up the best you can and go to it.